So if you're over 40, you're over 50, what's the best makeup out there? But what's makeup that nobody talks about that you don't normally hear on everybody's YouTube channel? That's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. Hi friends, how are you today? I am so happy that you're here with me today because not only are we gonna talk about products, you're gonna see a few of them applied as well. I am also doing this video in a collaboration with my friend Lisa Monique from Lisa Monique's Beauty and I could not be more excited to do that. I guess I discovered Lisa about a year or a year and a half ago. It wasn't very long after she started her channel and I was instantly mesmerized with this lady. First of all, I can listen to her talk all day long. She has the most soothing voice and she just seems like somebody that you would sit down and have coffee with and your conversations would be so easy, but she also has fantastic content on YouTube. She does all kinds of videos, especially for the over 50 mature woman. And Lisa has also been a photographer, a professional photographer. So she knows what looks good on camera. And she also has a very natural way about her style, which is so beautiful. Her style is just very natural and simple and easy. And yet I did a collab with her not very long ago during the holidays where we did glam looks and she looked a stunner as she always does. She's absolutely beautiful inside and out. And I hope that you do get a chance to go over and see some of her content. I think that you will fall in love with her as quickly as I did. And make sure that you tell her that I sent you and give her a whole lot of love. You guys like her video and all that. If you are coming over from Lisa's channel, I wanna say hello and welcome. I am so happy that you're here. My name is Melissa and I do over 50 videos as well. I'm 53 and as our skin changes, so does our makeup and skincare need to change. And since they do change, I love to do skincare, makeup, tutorials, different things that you can see that really are geared toward the mature woman makeup that makes you look your very best. That's what I focus on mostly, but I have a gamut of other videos as well. So I hope that you do check those out. Please subscribe, like, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos that I have. If you've been with me for a long time, love you so much. Okay, let's get into this makeup that nobody talks about for the over 50 woman that is the best. First, let's start out with something that is a beauty item, not necessarily makeup that goes on your face, makeup that goes on your nails. This nail polish I want to talk about you with. This is, isn't that pretty? It's like a lavender metallic chrome and it is from Sally Hansen and it is the color foils. Now I had never heard anybody talk about these. I actually discovered these about a week ago and I am so excited about them because they have so many colors. I picked up three colors and the color that I'm wearing is this purple one today. This one is violet, and then this one is rose beam, and then this one right here is fuchsia, fuchsiaistic. And I haven't tried that one either, but this one has lasted me for well over a week, and I am so excited to have a nail polish that is just a gorgeous polish that really hasn't chipped at all. I actually did wear a top coat on it, but it hasn't really chipped at all. And this is just, it's lovely. I really, really have been enjoying it. Now let's talk about a primer that nobody talks about. Now, when I say nobody talks about, and they're the best, what I mean by that is they may have talked about it in the past, but they're not talking about it anymore. Hidden gems, you probably have heard me talk about them because I talk about this kind of, this stuff all the time. I'm very repetitive. All right, this is the Revlon Colorstay Prep and Protect Primer ba Base with an SPF, and I can't read that without my glasses, an SPF of 34. I love this primer slash sunscreen. It is a mineral one, which is so good, but it is, but it is very thin and it absorbs into your skin. You are going to feel a very hydrating effect on it. So don't be alarmed by that. Let it sink in a little bit, but it also, you can feel that dimethicone or the blurring property that it has in there. And 
I just really love this. I've used it for years and years. It's been out for a lot of years. I see it very rarely in the drugstores now, occasionally, but mostly on Amazon, and I love this. I think it's fantastic. The next product that I think looks so pretty on mature women, and I don't hear it talked about, are a couple of palettes. This one from Sephora called the I Love Bloom. I don't hear anybody talk about this, but this is a neutral palette. I did work with this one today to do right here, use this one right here as my transition. This is a light enough palette for me that I can work with it and get a fairly deep color. I'm pretty light skinned, so this works so good for me. These palettes are amazing. They have a great quality to them, and I love that there is just the little seven pan you get the big pan that you can use as the all over color. It's gorgeous, I love it. And it works out so good for me. The other one that I wanna talk about is the Cinderella palette from Sigma. I was so excited when I first saw this and then I held off because I thought, you know, there are a lot of beautiful colors in there, but maybe there are too many warm colors in there because obviously this gold, this orange, and then there's a deepened orange over there. But look at all of those colors. I had to have this and try it. So what I did today was I went down into that teal and that's what I've got all across my eyes. And then over here, I've got this almost a darkened plummy brown right here that I used um, to darken up the color and it's just beautiful. All of these metallics are phenomenal, but the mattes are really great too. So if you've been thinking about this palette and you've been like, well, I don't know, maybe, I really love it. It's one of those ones that the quality is there. Sigma is amazing about their eyeshadow quality. I have had several where I just felt like they're so beautiful. And I loved the color story of this one. I just thought it was so good. The palette was laid out so well. You get several di different representations of color. Like you get this purple right here, which this is probably one of the silkiest purples I've ever used as far as on my eyes blends so well. The mattes blend like a dream. So this is one that I really have loved a lot. Now the next product, I have never heard anybody but one other YouTuber talk about these and she's the one that turned it on to me who is Dr. Danny. She is my dear friend but she talked about these on her channel and this is the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Eye Pencil Liners. These are so amazing. I will say that these are an extreme gel formula. Now you have to keep your lid on tight because you do not want these to dry out. But for the first time in a long time, I had found a eyeliner that would stay in my waterline and be there. And I am wearing the brown one. That's the blue one, by the way, I think it's cobalt. I'm wearing this brown one right here as my bottom line and I just smudged it out. So you can smudge that out a lot and it just stays. It, if you put it on an underneath or, you know, the bottom lash line or even line your top lashes, it is phenomenal. It's going to stick there like crazy. But for, like I said, for the first time I had found eyeliners that stuck around for at least three to four hours, which is unheard of normally because our eyes tear so much that waterline is going to come off within a couple hours maximum, but these will stick around. Some people that their eyes don't water as much as mine, they have had them on all day until they took them off at night. These are great. They come in another color. I think there's a purple and I do think there might be a silver and a gunmetal. No, there's a black and there's a little um, on the tip right there. There is a sharpener built in. Love that. Another product that I talk about all the time, but I hardly ever hear anybody else talk about it, is the Contouring Duo from Essence. This is what I have on today, and I just kind of swirl between the two, but you can tell that I hit pan, which means that you must love something, right? I love this because I can use this as a one-step contour slash bronzer, and I need something up in that hairline because I have a hairline that goes way back, and I also need a lot of bronzing too because I am extremely white pale. And so this is great. This one is for lighter skin. And I know they have one that is for darker skin. The actual product in here is so silky. And I feel like this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star one. But you know what? I like this so much better than that one. I feel like this is a silkier product that blends a little bit better. So if you've been wanting to try that one, this one, give it a try because I do feel like it's a completely better product than that. I love it so much. Now, I also want to talk about these pot 
single shadows from Revlon and these are the cream ones. These are amazing eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows. So budge proof. But let's first talk about this color, which is black current right here. Right here on the lid, you get this little brush right here, which you might think is kind of redundant. And why would I use a little brush like that? Well, it almost works better when you use this brush. So load that little tiny brush up and you're going to see that the pigment in there is pretty darn good. And I have really been surprised at this particular one. You can put this one on your um, eyelid and kind of just buff it towards the brow a little bit. And it's a one and done look. It's really pretty. And you can see how soft it is right there. I really love it. And then once they dry down, then you have that there all day and it's not going anywhere and it isn't drying at all on the eyelids, which is something that I feel like a lot of cream shadows can do. They can be super drying, but not this one. Now, this one right here, which is, let's see, creme brulee. This one I have on my inner corner today, and I did apply it with this little brush. And again, this is just a phenomenal little formula. I'm so pleased with it. And I'm putting a ton on here because I want you guys to be able to see. But I love that even though it is like a soft highlighter or a soft metallic, it's not going to look bad if you have any sort of crinkling on your eyelids because it is that soft cream formula. So these are really fun and they have a bunch of other colors and I'm so happy with the results on my mature eyelids. I think they're some way overlooked products that people don't ever talk about. I never hear, pe hear people talk about these. So this one, I never ever hear anybody talk about the Kat Von D blushes. This one is the Everlasting Blush in Rosebud. Specifically this color. I don't hear people talk about these, but this is a formula that is, oh my gosh, you stick your finger in here. This is so creamy and buttery and it's what I have on as my blush today. It got right there into that eyeliner. That's why it grabbed a patch right there, but it is a very smooth buildable formula that I think that you will love, but particularly this color in Rosebud just blew me away. I think this color is phenomenal. It's just a beautiful mauve berry that you can really blend out if you want to or you can really build it up and this color i think could go from for every woman now these two i have talked about a lot lately i don't hear anybody talk about them again but this is the Physi physician's formula rose all day and i have two of them and let me get my glasses all right the first one is brightening rose and the second one is luminous light let's talk about luminous light first this one i would put to you as kind of a dupe for the milani not a dupe. It's like buy this, not that for the Milani prep set and glow that has been discontinued. I will tell you right off the bat that I do feel like this has a little bit more glow than the Milani one does. But if you're really light handed, I feel like you can get the same effect from this. And it has that very brightening effect, but it doesn't have hardly any shimmer in it. The other one, the rose colored one, I do feel like that one has a little bit more kind of a little bit more along the shimmery side. But if you're somebody that really doesn't like a highlight that is a beaming highlight, you just want a little tiny bit of glow, you might really love that. And those are gonna be hard to see on camera, I know, but they really truly are a beautiful finishing powder. And then if you want to bump up your glow and get kind of the wet look, it does have this balm here. I don't hardly ever use that balm, but you could definitely use it if you wanted to. By the way, the packaging is great. It has a mirror on the bottom. Uh, Physicians Formula always gives you that extra mirror and that extra little brush that nobody ever uses, but I like the way that the packaging is, the where it's a layered packaging. So this is gonna stay a little bit cleaner as you're using your powder product. And then of course the embossing in that, isn't that beautiful? I just thought that they did a really great job on this. And this is one that I don't hear anybody talk about. So I think that there are another three colors, maybe another two colors, but definitely check those out if you've been wanting a finishing powder. This isn't something that you would normally set your makeup with or use all over, but if you've been wanting a finishing powder that gives a tiny bit of glow, those might be for you. Now, do you remember these? Nobody talks about these anymore. This is the Liquid Cat Suit Lip Glosses 
from Wet n Wild. This came out when I first started my YouTube channel about six years ago and everybody was, well, the matte ones first came out and then the high shine ones came out after that. And I went nuts for the high shine ones. I don't wear that liquid lipstick ever, but the high shine ones, I was all about it because these are a great formula that has a lot of opacity to them. So let's talk about the three I have. The first one is called Flirt Alert and it is just a pretty pink and I love the saturation. You know, when you normally get a gloss, you don't get a lot of saturation. I love that about these. And then the next one is called, this one is great. This next one, it's called uh, Caught You Bare Naked. If you like to put a different tonal on your lips when you're doing your lipstick, you could stick this one in the middle. I don't have a mirror in front of me. You stick that one in the middle and just, you know, it gives that illusion of having a bigger pout because you're putting a little bit of contour look with the highlight look. So this one is a really neutral nude that I love wearing and I cannot wear any nudes that have any sort of leaning towards any orange at all or any peach at all. I just like a nude that is just nude. Anyway, so the next one, the final one that I have is Chick Got Real. And this one became my favorite one ever because it has that lilac, uh, very cool toned pink in it. So these are great. And they are ones that will stick on your lips and they're not going to just rub off immediately. Any lip gloss that you use, they will, you know, rub off during the day. There's not much you can do about that. But these are very long lasting and I love this formula, still love this formula. All right, another product that I absolutely think gets way overlooked are the glossed lip glosses from Sephora, specifically this color I'm in love with, which is Regal. I adore this color. This is the color I have on and I'll put a little bit more on for you. You can see how that just brightened it up and it looks so good. They have tons of these. They have ones that are a little bit more, have color in them, and then they have ones that are very sheer. Most of them are a semi-sheer to sheer formula, but they have a beautiful gloss look to them. They're very shiny, they last a long time. So with this one, you're getting a more sheer look to the gloss, whereas the one from Wet n Wild, that is definitely a more opaque formula. I love this one though, it is so good, and I have talked about this one on my channel forever, but I never hear anybody talk about these glosses. They're really, really great. And then the last two products I have to show to you today is the New Milk Makeup um, Rise Mascara. I don't know whether I just haven't watched the right channels or not, but I haven't heard anybody talk about this one. And I have this one on my eyes, to, on this eye today. And it just thickens and lengthens and makes tons of volume and it can build on itself. I like the wand. It is kind of a natural bristle brush. It's a little bit curved, but it's not too big that I can't handle it. And I also like that they made the tip so that when you pull it out, you're not pulling out a ton of product. And it lasts on my eyes all day until I take it off at night and without any smudging or flaking. So that one has been really good and I don't hear anybody talking about it. I think it's a really great Great. hit the sorry about the dog hit the market type mascara where I don't hear people discussing it and it's been great for me and my mature lashes now this one I have talked about I have a complete video just about this mascara but I think I'm the only one that talks about this one I don't know whether it's just because I'm the only one that likes it or not but this is from essence it's the 24 ever bold volume mascara this is like my I don't know my fourth or fifth tube of this. This has a tiny, tiny arch on it. This is a silicone or a plastic bristle brush. And I love how this builds. I have it on this eye today. And I think that it did such a good job. Both of these mascaras do a fantastic job. So if you can't get one or the other, maybe if you're in a different country, then, you know, think about possibly, you know, one of them. They really are really good at both building up the volume and then being able to get the length and catching 
thinning every single eyelash down here on the bottom lashes. So love them both so much. And I believe that that was my last product to go over today. I hope that you did enjoy this. I can't wait to go over and see Elisa's video. I'm going to go over and watch that right now. Please go over and see hers too. Give my video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And again, if you're new here, I'm so glad that you're with me. And I do hope that you decide to stick around. I hope everybody is happy, healthy. Come back around in my next video. We'll meet back here. I love you very much. I hope you all take care of yourselves. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>